Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Elaine. This class is a gentle mobility practice designed to help release tension and tightness from your muscles and joints. It's not about fancy poses. It's perfect if you're feeling a little bit lethargic or just tired and you just want to allow some release of tension and stress from the body and the mind. So let's get on our mat and get started. Let's come into a nice lying down position. You might like to have a blanket for your head, um, a bolster, maybe even a block will be handy later on. So just get those things and then join me here. Just taking your time to find a comfortable lying down position and noticing right away if there's any discomfort in your back. And if there is, then bending your knees, having your knees touching and your feet apart could be a nice way to release that tension. But if everything is feeling okay, just allow the feet to rest away from each other. Let the palms rest at the side of the body with the palms facing up and just allow the weight of your body to relax into the ground. Tuning in to the sounds in the space where you are right now. Getting a sense of how your body feels in this moment. And beginning to feel the air around your body and then feeling the air as it travels through your nose into your body. Just paying attention to each breath as it arrives and leaves. Noticing what part of the body seems to find the ease to receive the breath the most. That might be your belly, your ribs or your chest. Just allowing you to step into the driver's seat here instead of being tossed around by the different thoughts that continue to distract you from this moment. Decide to take control and begin to notice and bring attention to each breath. Thoughts and sounds and distractions may arise, as they always do. But you're choosing today just to bring yourself back each time without any judgment to feeling and noticing each breath. So let's start to move slowly. So bringing your hands down by your side, start to lift your arms up towards the ceiling and let them just hover there for a moment. And then as you breathe in, let the arms go back behind you and just let them stretch back. And then take a breath in here to lengthen. And as you exhale, bring the arms back up toward the ceiling. Just feel them just above you. And then as you exhale, begin to lower the arms back down. Let's make that a bit more fluid. So inhaling the arms up and then taking them all the way back and then exhaling, bringing the arms all the way through. So connecting breath and movement, a gentle breath up takes you arms behind you and a nice exhale brings the arms back down. The next time your arms go up behind you, just let them rest there. You can bend the elbows or straighten them. And then I'd like you to imagine you're reaching for something just behind your right hand and then lengthening through your right leg. So the whole right side of your body is stretching away. And then relax and let everything soften. And then reach the fingers and the left foot and hand away from each other as much as you feel you want to. And then relax. 
So again, moving from side to side, breath in, helping you find more length. And then maybe you exhale and rest, but just let the breath be easy and effortless. Feeling your way, easing yourself from side to side as you do these little stretches. And noticing as you lengthen one side, the other side shortens a little bit. And then letting it go, good. So this time when we um, take a breath in, we're going to lengthen both sides, fingers and toes away, noticing where your lower back is as you do this and your ribs. And then gently drawing your right knee into your chest and giving it a little squeeze. And then just easing it off and drawing it in, just feeling that sponginess as you start to open up through the hip a little bit here. Drawing in and out. Nice. And then maybe you rotate the ankle around, just bringing some lubrication to your ankle joints and feeling the muscles beneath your hands and how they start to move and activate as you just make these little rotational movements with your foot. Good. And the next time you release, take that leg out to the mat, extend your arms again, and just lengthen your whole body. And then on the out breath, hug the left knee into your chest and give it a squeeze. And then relax it and draw it in, just easing your way into your hips as you use your arms to gently draw in and release. The next time you squeeze that leg in, just start to rotate your ankle. And again, whenever it feels nice to close your eyes and just feel what's going on in your body, just do that. Otherwise, just gazing at something steady above you. So we're gonna release that leg down now and just stretch the arms again. And the next time you draw, lift both knees in towards the chest now and give them a little squeeze. And maybe you roll from side to side. Maybe you roll in circles, just explore. See what would feel appropriate right now for this part of your body. Your sacrum is a big, long, flat part of your spine right at the base. So just move with awareness and See what feels good here. Okay. So we're just going to roll onto our side. You can use your hand as a little pillow and then gently press yourself to come up. We're gonna to come to sit. So I'd like you to take your right leg underneath and your left leg on top, coming into this nice seated position. And bringing your hands to your knees just allow your shoulders to reach up towards your ears and then drop down towards the ground. Inhaling as you lift up and exhaling down. And feel how much the shoulders can move in this ball and socket joint. One more time and release. So now the shoulders have descended down. Let's just use the weight of the head to bring a little more release to the muscles that connect your head to your shoulders. Let the head drop over to the side so the ear is coming down toward the shoulder. And then we're going to lift the shoulder up towards the ear, and then we're gonna drop it and drop the head to the other side. So just let the head hang toward the right side, feeling what there is on the left side of your neck as the shoulder drops. And then squeeze your right shoulder up towards your ear and then drop it down and drop your head to the side. This time we're going to circle the head, so dropping the chin down towards the chest, and then roll the head over to the right, and then slowly lower the head down and to the left. So these little half circle movements are really nice to release tension in the shoulders, the trapezius, neck, so always moving in what feels right for you, never pushing yourself to do what doesn't feel right. We never want to experience any pain in our yoga practice 
always just a sense of moving with awareness into places where there might be tightness and using our breath and our time, slowly easing our way in. So bring the head back up on top of your shoulders. Good. And we're going to take the hands together. And we're going to lift the hands up towards the ceiling. Just stretch up. And then as you come down, just rotating your wrists and bring your hands back down to land on the mat. And from here, just lowering your head over to one side as you stretch. And then letting that hand rest as you lean. And you might want to stroke your hand up the side of your body if you have any shoulder issues. And if that feels okay, maybe you lean the arm over towards the right side. Keeping both hips on the ground, relaxing your right shoulder. Just feeling that stretch through the side body. You might want to lift your arm and lower it if that feels good. Or just stay in stillness. Just offering you options to try to see what feels right in this moment for your body. Good. And then the next time, just gently lifting yourself up, releasing both hands back to the mat. Allow the head to drop over toward the left side and then pressing the left hand into the floor, bending the elbow, sliding the hand up the right side of the body until you arrive there. And then relaxing that left shoulder, maybe bringing the arm across towards the head, just feeling into this side. You might want to lift your arm and lower it or stay still. Maybe the head wants to look down or up. Just trying on, seeing what fits your body today. And then we're gonna sweep our arms around. We're just going to lean forward over our bent legs towards the mat or the ground. And just feeling into how the hips feel as you do this. Nice, slow, easy breaths. And maybe bringing your attention to the back of your body and feeling the breath here. How the back ribs rise and fall with the breath. Letting the head hang comfortably down toward the ground. And then slowly bringing yourself back up. So we're going to take the legs in front now and we're going to have the hands behind us. We're just going to push down through the hands and allow the chest to lift and lower. Just feeling a little rise and fall as we start to reach into our upper back a little. Counterpose to that forward fold we just did. Some of you may feel that it's okay to lift the hips up a little higher and come into this reverse tabletop position, or maybe it feels better to stay on the ground. Remember, it's your practice for your body. Just because it doesn't feel like it's the right move for today doesn't mean it might not feel right tomorrow. You're just using this moment by moment awareness to listen to the body and do what feels right. Let's come back to the front now and cross the left leg in front of the right. And then we're going to take our right hand to our left knee and our left hand behind us and just do a gentle twist. So getting a little taller through the spine and then gently bending your right elbow to revolve. Just see where your neck feels comfortable in this position. Gazing down or straight ahead. Feeling how that out breath gives you a little bit more support to rotate. And then changing, coming back to the center. And then taking the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you, get a little taller, and then start to rotate. Yoga is wonderful for showing us the differences between our left and our right side. So notice if you feel this side is the same or different to one that you just did. And then come back to the center. We're going to just curl down again towards the ground now that we've changed the cross of our legs and just see how it feels on this side. Listening to the body and 
honoring your edges, these places where the body tells you to stay. And if we stay here and breathe, the body's natural reflex to stop us will begin to ease away and we'll find we can go a little deeper into the stretch. Breathing our way to wellness, to release tightness and find more flexibility, more freedom, more ease in this body. Slowly bring yourself up. Good. We're going to take our legs out in front of us now. So extend them. And then just point and flex your feet a couple of times, feeling the toes, looking at the toes, and noticing if you place your hands on your knees, what happens as you move your feet. Feeling how muscles above and away from the feet start to activate. All right, let's bend our right knee. We're gonna take that foot over and we're going to bring it around the side. So we're resting on the baby toe side. Make sure both your sit bones are on the floor. Bring your hands to your knees and then start to lower your chin to your chest. And we're just going to slowly lean forward. Now again, the stretch here is quite deep for the hamstring. So just lowering your head, just come into the place where your body says, okay, that is enough for today. Return to your breath. Feel what's going on in the body. Accepting this place for what it is today. And letting time and breath and gravity help you to release this tension. find more mobility, more freedom in your body. And then start to slowly come up, releasing that leg and extending it out. And then bending the left knee in towards the inner thigh, taking the leg over and then drawing the left foot towards the right. We're trying to get our knees as closely on top of each other as we can. And then starting to get a little taller and then lower your chin to your chest and start to bend over. So breathing in and as you exhale, letting the weight of the body start to feel a stretch into maybe your hamstring I feel a lot more on this side than the other side. So just noticing the difference. And then slowly start to bring yourself up, taking that leg to the side, and then just coming into this windshield wiper position. So feet wide apart, and just lower the knees to one side and then to the other. Just feeling a little bit of freedom in the hips. So it's really good to open the hips as we sit for our meditation practices. And then just start to bring the feet together. We're going to allow the knees to go out to the side. So bringing the feet as comfortably close to your groin as you can. And then holding on to your toes and just lifting the knees up. And as you exhale, pressing the knees down. So you might feel that your feet separate a little bit as you do that, that's perfectly fine. It's like you're opening up the book of your feet. Inhale. And exhale, nice steady breaths as you start to feel into your inner hips. Just one more. 
and then slowly bring the knees in together. And we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So spreading your fingers nice and wide apart, knees under the hips. Let's just start to move the spine. So allowing the tailbone to rise and the belly to drop, gazing forward, and then drawing the tailbone down as the spine lifts and the head drops. So just starting to feel these nice undulating movements of your spine. Pushing down through your hands and knees as you allow more stretch and space between the vertebra of your back. Excuse my yawning. Good. And then we're gonna come down onto our forearms and just extend our hands forward. And doing the same movement again. So feeling how it's a little different to be on your forearms. A little bit less movement available because the upper back is a little more stiff than the lower back. Definitely a lot more stiff in my case. Good. And then we're gonna turn our left hand towards our right elbow and extend our right arm out. Now you can rest your head on your forearm. Give yourself some support as you reach your fingers forward and your hips back. So this pose is helping to stretch this underside of your armpit, your shoulder, also your upper back, which can get pretty tight when we sit at desks, rounding our shoulders all day. So this is a really nice pose to open up that area. And then gently bring that elbow back in line with the other one. Turn your left arm up and your right hand towards your left elbow. And then just stretch your arms. Left arm stretches forward as the hips lean back. And just feel that gentle softening of your upper back and chest towards the ground. For some people, being on their forehead is better. For others, being on their chin. And sometimes just using a block under your head can help give you a little bit of support. It really depends on the flexibility of your spine and shoulders. And then just bringing yourself down from being on your front to lying on your tummy. So your elbows are just in front of your shoulders and your feet are flat on the floor. I want you to imagine you're gently drawing your elbows back toward your hips and just feel how the muscles in the back of your body maybe start to wake up. Maybe there's a sense of more spaciousness in the front of your body. Just notice, where am I feeling this pose? And then start to gently lift one leg up towards the buttocks and release. And lift the other leg up and release. So taking your time to feel what that does to your spine. Moving into a deeper extension of your back. Good. And then maybe you try having both legs up or not. Just see how that feels. And then slowly lower them down. We're going to take our arms out now so that they're in like goalpost positions. So your forearms are parallel to the long side of your mat and your head's on the ground. As you come up, you're going to push your elbows and forearms into the mat and then gently lower yourself down. So press down into the ground to lift your chest and then release. Maybe you breathe in as you rise. And exhale as you lower. And maybe the next time you choose to lift your elbows off the ground, just see how that feels in your back. Or stay with your elbows on the floor. Just do one more. 
come all the way down. So we're going to uh, start to work with our lower body. So making a little pillow with your hands for your head. Imagine someone is pulling your left leg up and away behind you in a nice straight line. And then release. And then lengthen through the leg and lift from the hip. So the back leg is completely straight. Lengthen and lift. Noticing where you feel this in your body. The big glute muscle is engaging to help lift your leg away from the ground. Good. One more time. And then we're going to keep our right arm bent and take our left hand to our lower back. We're going to place our forehead on our forearm. And then we're going to start to lift the head up with the forearm and lower it down. And then we're going to feel the weight of the head being supported by the arm as we use our back muscles to lift us. And then we're going to add the left leg. So as the right arm lifts, the left leg lifts and we lower. That's it good. So feeling that diagonal stretch across the back. Eyes looking forward to the front of the mat, but keeping the back of the neck nice and long and straight. One more time and release. So we just change the position of our arms. Left arm is bent, head resting on the forearm, right hand on your back. And then take a breath out. And as you breathe in, start to lift the head and the arm together, feeling the back muscles that engage to lift you away from the ground against gravity. And now let's add the right leg. So as you lift the left arm, right leg lifts as well. Feeling what it's like to do this side. And again, resting whenever you need to, always knowing you can take a break and come back in whenever it feels right. One more time and rest. Bring the hands back underneath. Just shake the hips from side to side. And then we're gonna roll over onto our back. So coming onto this position. And then just bringing your hands down by your side. And I want you to bring your attention to your lower back. And I want you to imagine that you have a little cherry tomato underneath there. You'll take a breath in and as you breathe out, you're going to squash that tomato into the mat. I'd like you to put your hands on the tips of your pelvis here. And as you do that, notice what happens to those bones. What you may become aware of is the rocking forward and back of your pelvis. This moment by moment awareness of what's happening in the body is really important. And this way we keep ourselves safe and we feel what's going on. And more importantly, our mind is kept busy in this moment. So feeling each pressing down and rocking of your spine as you do this. Okay. And the next time you press down, I want you to start to push more weight into your heels, place your hands on the floor and start to lift your hips up away from the ground. Now maybe the shoulders want to move a little further away from the ears. Just feel the strength of your legs, your back. And I want you to imagine that you're pulling your heels towards your shoulders and see how that activates back line of muscles in your legs as well. So trying to breathe nice, easy, steady breaths, a little bit of distance between your chin and your chest. Feeling the strength as you press up away from the ground. And then gently starting to roll down from the top of your spine all the way to the bottom. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in as you exhale, pressing the back into the ground, pushing through the heels and peeling your spine up away from the mat. 
And this time, if it would feel right, you could take your hands underneath and you could interlace them, just bringing the arms a little closer together underneath you. And as you press the hands towards the feet, just feeling that lift of your chest and hips and thighs up. And again, staying for as long as feels comfortable for you. We just got a couple more breaths here. Noticing where you feel the sensation the most in your body. And then releasing your hands and starting to gently roll down towards the ground. And then we're going to have the feet just as wide as your hips. Take your arms out to the sides. We're just going to lower the legs to one side and just let them rest there. Coming into a gentle twist. You might want to turn your head away from the direction of your knees to complete the twist of your entire spine. Make sure there's no pain as you do this in your lower back or your legs. And then when you're ready, gently bring your knees back up and then slowly lower them to the other side. Making any adjustments you need to. Hands relaxed, face soft. Breath nice and calm and easy. Noticing this side. Much easier for me on this side than the other side. Big difference. So just bringing that sense of curiosity, non-judgment to your practice today. Having a kind affection for your body and trusting that it will guide you to the places and the edges that are right for you today. Respecting and honoring each edge and knowing that with time and practice, those edges will change and the more and more the body will allow you in to release and let go and feel more freedom. So preparing now for your Shavasana, either placing your hands on your belly or your hands by your side. You can always bend your knees, really taking this moment by moment awareness to find the right resting place for you. And then returning to your breath, feeling it flow in and out. Nothing to do, nowhere to go, just full body awareness. Where is this breath? Maybe noticing the beating of your heart or the pumping of the artery that leads from the belly to the heart. Any and all sensations as they arise. And so then taking your time as you wish to bring yourself from a lying down position, bending your knees, rolling onto your side, just resting there for a moment, supporting your head with your hand or using a blanket or something that you can prop your head on to rest. And then slowly bringing yourself back up into a seated position. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope your body's feeling a little more easy and fluid than when we started. Please do give me your feedback. I do these classes to help make people's lives more enjoyable, to make their bodies feel more free and at ease. So feedback is very much appreciated. Wishing you a wonderful day. Namaste.